party. Now this is something, everybody's like, what do I serve at my tasting parties? And you need to keep it simple. A lot of us will get really excited and we want to serve this and that, and we just fill the table with tons of food, expecting that everybody's going to fall in love with Epicure and you have great, great sales. But what happens is you can overwhelm your customers. So what we have set up on the table is a very simple tasting party for you. And we'll walk you through what's in the, on the table this evening and what comes in your kit as well. Everything that comes in your kit is exactly what you need. You don't need to go out and spend any more money to buy more product because you think you need it so that you can sell it. The catalog has beautiful illustrations, great descriptions in there, and your customers, well, their mouth will water according to their palates. So you don't need to bring the entire catalog to a tasting party. You want to travel light. So your, your kit is all that you need for a tasting party. Now, how do we set up a table? The first thing is that we need tasting mats. And you will find these tasting mats, um, you can download them from, getting, uh, from the tab Getting Started on the main consultant webpage. They come in two formats. One, with, on an 8.5 by 11, you can print off two cards. Or there's another format that has actually three cards on an 8.5 by 11. I really like the half size. I'm getting a little old, so my eyes are, you know, have a hard time focusing, so I like big printing. But that's totally up to you which cards you would like. Number, and the, the other thing that's really important is that I would take these cards and take them, or these paper, these printed forms, and take them to staples to be laminated, because it will protect your um, mats. And then they, these are actually four years old, and they're still in great condition. So what I have is I will take take the tasting mats and place them on the table. So here I have three dip blends that I have created, and that's what I take to a tasting party. Three to four dip blends made with sour cream and mayonnaise and half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of the spice blend. So I will um, place on the mat in correspondence to what the bottom of my little dip cup says onto the mat. Then, I will carry a few of the dip jars and I will lay that beside the mat. So I have three dips here. I will have, and I will serve these with the nacho chips that my hostess has provided me. So I just ask her for soup bowls. I'll place that on the table and fill the soup bowl with the nacho chips. Again, here I have my fruit dips. So it's made with sour cream, or not sour cream, just vanilla yogurt and the summer berry fruit dip. I, will, I have my tasting mat and what I serve the fruit dips with is simply a Granny Smith apple or whatever apple your hostess wants to provide you with. So I would slice this in small chunks and I would put that again in a soup bowl and I would set that beside the fruit dip and then people can try the fruit dips with the fruit. Alright, over here we have in your kit you get a red pepper jelly, and this is the easiest thing to serve. I've asked my hostess to provide me with cream cheese. So what I would do at the tasting party is I actually unwrap the cream cheese, slice it lengthwise in half, and I only use about half a cream cheese, place that onto your plate, and then what you can do is you open the jar and dip and add maybe one to two or tablespoons of red pepper jelly. I must caution you because once in a while, they'll open your red pepper jelly because they fall in love with it and they start scooping it out of the jar. So what we would recommend is that you take a two ounce cup, pour two ounces worth or an ounce into a two ounce cup and take that to the tasting party and bring maybe a, a fairly empty jar of red pepper jelly and then you're set. You don't have to worry about serving a full jar of red pepper jelly at your tasting parties because they fall now, and you saw me making some salsa. So over here is my salsa. Oh, you serve the red pepper jelly with the crackers that your hostess provides you with. So again, just take a soup bowl and or any type of bowl that she's providing you with, and you put the crackers beside that, spread the cream cheese and red pepper jelly on a cracker, and that's how I serve the red pepper jelly. Over here is the salsa. And the salsa you saw me prepare with, you can make that with fresh tomatoes as well. 
It doesn't need to be canned tomatoes. So in the season, in the summer season, when the tomatoes are plenty and they're very tasteful or tasty, you can actually make your salsa from fresh tomatoes as well. And if you strategically place this, you could have the nacho chips beside the dips and then you have only one bowl of nacho chips and they can try the salsa as well as the dips, okay? And over here is the extraordinary cheese dip. What I do, there, there are different kinds of ramekins. This is actually a corningware. So I can fill this with my extraordinary cheese dip and put this in a little toaster oven, heat this up at the tasting party. But remember, it's only a quarter of the recipe. You do not need to bring a full recipe of extraordinary cheese dip. And we always hear, well, they'll eat it all. Of course they will eat it all. So remember, a quarter will go a long way. Actually, we'll serve anywhere from 10 to 15, 15 people at a tasting party easily. All right? And that you can serve with the nacho chips as well if you want to serve the extraordinary cheese dip. So I would have a bowl, and I would fill the bowl with nacho chips. Over here is the salad dressing that I showed you how to make earlier, which is just balsamic vinegar and, bals and olive oil with the classic vinaigrette salad dressing. And um, what I would do is just place the salad dressing beside the plate. I would slice up some French baguette and have that in a bowl sitting beside the table. Either they can use a cucumber and dip into the, uh, into the salad dressing with a cucumber or they can do a bread. And I really prefer the bread because it really absorbs the balsamic, the olive oil and gives them a really great idea of how to use salad dressings other than just for salads. Alright, and over here we have a plate and in this plate is some, in this bowl is some cucumber. So we, in your kit, you actually get a sand salt, which is a non-salt product, and a salt grinder, the herb and garlic salt grinder. And how we serve this and feature this at tasting parties is basically have a sliced cucumber. They would take the cucumber, place it on the plate, and then they can just have the caps open for them, and they can give this a great big sprinkle, and they can try the sand salt. And then they could take a cucumber, teach them how to use the salt grinders because a lot of people aren't aware that the salt grinders are actually adjustable. So you can get a fine grind or a real coarse grind by simply turning the knob of the salt grinder. This is also refillable. Um, many consultants aren't aware that this is refillable. So you can buy refill jars that are the size of the salad dressing and refill your salt shake grinders two and a half times. So the way this works is that you're just going to flip the grinder upside down, hold the head, and just turn clockwise. A quarter of a turn gives you enough salt taste in this, and it's a really awesome product. So that's how I set up my Epicure tasting table. I keep it very simple. Um, I also display your Dips and Spreads cookbook, your Top 12 collection, your multi pot, and chai tea. There's also in your kit comes the Epicure Selections Let's Party CD. I would highly recommend that you take a look at that. It'll help you with your Epicure business as well. So that's what a tasting party looks like when I serve at, uh, at all my parties. <laughs>